Hello everyone and welcome back to F1 2010 career mode. Now we're in a bit of a pickle because we don't actually have a drive for next season. We have been dropped by Toro so they've taken their contract offer away. I don't even know why. I beast it up. Bohemi this season. But anyway, we'll forget about that for now. We'll jump straight out. We'll see if we can get some good laps on the board. Straight out on. Now you see, Brazil hasn't changed much over the years, so it's relatively the same track. Just need a hook. It's difficult to hook up a clean lap all the way around, though, so we will try our best. Fingers crossed, because I think we're going to need to impress in these last two Grand Prix because we do not have a drive for next season currently. So we come across the line, first lap, we've done a 112.8. It's good enough for sixth so far. We can go quicker than that though, there's a few mistakes, a few little errors there. Turn one there wasn't too great, which kind of hampers you running at turn two. But further on down the lap, there's a caution ahead, yellow flag, that's a car facing the wrong way, it's Hulkenberg, but we're not going to slow down for these yellow flags. We've got time to make up and you can get done for it in this game, so it's fine. Play the room, play the room. Right, we do finish our second lap now and we do, we go nine tenths quicker, which puts us up into eight for the 111.9. There's still time. I'm sloppy on these, so we'll head back to the garage. Get the time rolling. A little bit of time? Yeah, I'm definitely losing a bit of time through sector two, not hooking it up too well, but we're fr fresh set of boots. Straight out, we'll do two laps. But we've been hampered a little bit, so we plough for it. I tell you what, that ghosted. Would have been out of qualifying pronto. But Schumacher's on the racing line. He better be on a fast lap because he put me out wide. We do hook up turn two nice, which will give us a good run through three and all the way down to four. Further on down the lap, no, this is where we were losing a lot of time. I was turning in a little bit too early, missing the apex. But that was hooked up quite nicely that time round. Just under three minutes to go left in the session. Come round final sector, we're half a second up on our previous best time. But we're now up the hill. Do you know, I think if we hook a lap together, pole is on the cards. I do think pole is on the cards, because there's mistakes still. I think we can hook up a somewhat clean. It's turn one and two, I'm losing a lot of time as well. We go fifth, we're into the tens. Hook up turn one, clean run, not too much curb, thunder over turn two. Run it out, hang the car out wide. Probably going to let that hang a little bit further, but you probably get away with it a bit more in this game as we come down. What's our first sector time? We're six tenths up, that's pole. That's pole territory. Just need to continue this good run. Further run down the lap now. Ooh, probably a little bit more curb than I've wanted. Keep it in. Probably avoid the curb here. Because it runs you out and then you end up throwing the car out wide. With three tenths. Just under four tenths. Final corner. That's it. That's kind of the final corner. Because you're flat all the way up the hill and down to the start finish line. Got a minute. This is our last lap. So I don't want to do three laps on a single set of tyres. And then go into the race. So we will come across the line, and it is a one one ten five, and we're currently on pole. Are we going to be able to hang on to that pole? Because we are not running again. Did we take a, what third pole? We did take pole. Great session, you're on pole. The boss is over the moon with that result. Couple two over the moon. Give, took that contract away off for a bit lively. Slide that back on to Al Jaswari. They've signed me, replaced me with. But we are on pole. Less than attempt to separate the top three. Let's get straight into the race. Well, we're in race day, and um, race pace seems to be an issue this season. We seem to qualify well. We'll have a look at our teammates' stats. Outraced in 10 7, podiums 2 to 0, out qualified 14 to 4. Number 2 driver. An absolute disgrace. But yeah, we'll get straight on to the race. I really need to work on the race pace though, because it's been poor. One lap pace is good in this car, but it's so it's not quick in a straight line. So we really need to try and slipstream at least if we uh, full pack. Starting grid, and we're on pole. Massa's down in seventh. That rivalry's done anyway. Boemi's eight. He lives in eighteenth. I want another points finish out of me this weekend. 
Good start will be handy. A good start, they're quite easy to get good start. You just read the last end off it, get away. And because the AI is so slow on the first lap, we can try and build a little bit of a gap. There's pace, but there's mistakes as well. That one lap at the end of qualifying was kind of mistake free. So we need to kind of iron them out early doors because they'll come back they'll come back at us. But we have got a great start. Vettel's jumped. No, Vettel was second, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, it's Vettel from Hamilton from Weber as we come and finish the first sector. We we got to gain a second, so we do need to stretch out a good a good lead as we head in to the um, second lap because they do start coming back at you. The pace is there for the AI uh, second lap onwards, so we just need to get on with it, defend if need be, and uh, yeah, what's the gap as we come across the line and end of first lap? It is oh, it's probably only six tenths, but they have caught right back onto us now. Uh, uh, three possible four cars behind us are a lot quicker than us. I knew that. Front right's gone off already. I knew they were going to come straight back at us. But he's all over us. We, this is race pace. We don't have good race pace. Front two tyres have gone. Well, not gone, but they're wearing a little bit. Grip will be limited. Yeah, we might suffer here because that Red Bull is quick in a straight line. We've made a little mistake at the final corner. That's going to allow Vettel to mount us. Hamilton's there, Weber's also there. So we head down right, defend, defend, defend. Keep the inside line so we can't cut underneath us as we come down. And Hamilton's making a move on Vettel there as well. Get a breaking point right, but we've locked it. We've come on, we come right. No, that's going to put them... Oh, it's going to send them both through. We'll drop down a third. It was poor. I was focused. I was, too, I was car watching. Missed the breaking point, and now we drop down a third place. Weber's on us now. But they've pitted. Weber and Hamilton have both jumped into the pits. That's early as well. I did two laps on my tyres. But I didn't I completely forgot Weber was there and he's coming to the inside. We've messed up breaking point out for turn one again. Oh, we get a warning for corner cutting as we try and get a decent run off to at least try and slipstream him, but that speed of that Red Bull is so is so much quicker than us. Yeah, Weber's starting to dip out now, he's starting to head off into the distance. Now we weren't meant to pit this lap, we were meant to pit the following lap, I think, but the front tires we haven't got a lot of front end grip now so we're going to jump into the pits this lap we're at the pits don't get jump for speeding don't hit the front jack man please get a car stopped on the marks bang need a quick stop d needs a quick stop because the cars around us were quicker but we've been held all oh, the blood just just let me go there was such a gap between mass you could have let me go 10.6 19th we've come out, Matt. Leonce is ahead of us, got Boemi behind us. They seem to go backwards in races as well. This car's coming out of pits. So are we going to be out of jumping it? I think we're going to lose out to all of these. Who's that there? That's a Renault by the look of that um, airbox. Who, who's that coming out of pits to the left of us there? Who's that? Kovalai! How have we lost so much time? He's pitted. I think we're actually 18th then, give or take a few positions. We have lost out heavily. You see, we're held, you're held for like six, seven seconds there. They could have let me go in front of Massa though. I do not understand why. But we've jumped a car in the pits. I think we're just going to be ruthless with it. Oh, we've caught Kurt. We've got Kubica. We've got a little run on him. We're just going to throw it up. Oh, he's run out a little bit wide. I did spook him a little bit. Didn't touch him. Did not touch him. Spooked him out wide, and that's us having a P16. We've got Liuzzi and I believe Hulkenberg in the Williams just ahead. Two laps later, lap eight, we've got Liuzzi. Are we going to try a little move? No. I thought about it. I was generally going to thought about throwing it up the inside. But we're there. We're just going to launch it up the inside, have a little bit. Ooh, keep him off, but we've run out of wide. But we'll stop him from coming back round. That's him wide. That's done. Up 15th. I can't believe I've gassed at 15th. We lost. Pole, we started. Absolutely outrageous behaviour. I don't even think we're going to get points. So car in a pit there. Is that Barrichello, is it? Yeah. So we're 14th, 13th now. Is that Senna? Right, so we jump Senna as well in the pits. That's 13th. I don't think we're going to catch three cars. Glock leads the Grand Prix. So he will need to pit. That might be him. It's not him because he's still first. Hamilton pits? Now that might mistake. But that means it's Vettel going to pit. Oh yeah, we just go across the grass. Little warning, it doesn't matter. Corner cutting, we ain't got to worry about things like that. But we're 12, that's someone coming out of the pits there. Is that Glock? That wasn't a, 
reference. I wasn't trying to be behind Brundle. But I believe, I believe that is Glock. It was Glock. For 11th place, can we just throw it up the inside? He's just come out the pits to be on cold tyres. We can do him around the outside. His front wing's there. I think that's us done, yeah. 11th place. We just need one more for a point. I'd be, oh, I wouldn't be happy with a point considering we started on pole position, but we lost so much time in them in the pit stop stages that I think we're going to have to just accept that a point may be the best we offer. But we start the final lap of the Grand Prix. We do gain some points, big man. We need a decent exit. We have got a decent exit out of here, but it's, we're not close enough just yet. A little mistake into here would help. They're not quick into here. We're right up his backside. We're going to throw him the inside. We touched his back. We touched his back. We touched his second time. He's round. He's round. Oh, that was very Hamilton-esque. But we haven't been given a warning. We haven't been given a penalty. We're just going to crack on. It's P10. Get in there, boys. Sometimes you've got to take drastic measures like that. We're fighting for a drive out here. I know I'm going to get one on the back three. Actually, I've recorded it. I know who I'm driving for next year. So, Alonso wins the Grand Prix. Della Rose is ahead of us. I can't believe it. Paul, when we finish 10th. I... I think without that pit stop error, we'll say pit stop error, without being held in the pits, fifth or sixth maybe, I don't know, I'm, we lost a bit of time behind cars, but we do come across in tenth, at least it's the objective. Grid position first, finish tenth. Do you know you get your eye beat for stuff like that? Why are you more gassed about that than when I win? I mean, love only one once, but tenth. Della Rosa finished just ahead of us. Vettel finished 15th. Wait, does that mean Webber's the world champion? I think it does. 15 points. I think he only needed 12. I think Alonso from Rosbo from Webber. Petrov, that's another good result for Renault. They've picked it up in the final half of the season. But yeah, I think Webber might be the world champion. Let's have a little look there then. So he needs 25 points now. So we're ninth, Petrov's ahead. You see, Petrov's ahead, but only five. It's only five points. Decent result in the final race, might jump us a place. He is his world champion. Mark Webber is the season one world champion. There, I tell you what, Hamilton did catch Vettel a bit more towards the end of the season there, because the points gap's a bit different. But there, Webber is the world champion. If he'd gone his way in real life, he'd probably won the world championship anyway. But yeah, we are sick. Probably not going to gain or lose any more in the constructors. That's probably pretty much confirmed us there. But anyway, thank you for watching and join us again next time, which will be the season finale and our final race for Toro Rosso. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.